Today's budget brought few surprises for farmers, a move that has been welcomed by the broader agri-sector. However, we must remember it's this sector, the agri-food sector, that is most exposed to a hard Brexit in the coming months. And many would have expected more from the Minister for Finance today as they face this threat. Fundamentally though, today's budget was a rollover one for farmers, with many schemes and taxation measures being continued. However, one scheme, TAMS, which provides funding for farmers for building sheds and improving infrastructure, it remains unclear whether that scheme will continue. However, there will be comfort for farmers that schemes such as GLOSS, ANCs, Genomics and Sheep Welfare Scheme have all been extended. The other area that saw a rollover of measures is taxation in the agri-sector. And key taxation measures include consolidation relief and stamp duty relief. And the latter has been retained at 1% for farmers with agricultural land transactions that qualify. Today, there was a win for the Greens, as we saw an increase in funding for the organic farming scheme by 33%. We also heard today of a provision for a food ombudsman, which will be included in the increased budget within the Department of Agriculture. Reaction from farming organisations has been relatively positive today to the budget. ICMSA said the taxation measures were positive. However, it did criticise the lack of measures to help income volatility. It had been looking for a scheme that would allow farmers, when they have a good year, put away some money and be able to draw down on that money when income is not so good in other years and pay tax then but that wasn't included in the budget. IFA too largely welcomed the budget, saying there were some positives, but they warned of the looming threat of Brexit. Overall though, it's going to be the coming weeks and months where we see how good this budget has been for the agri-food sector and with the possible threat of Brexit hanging over it.